Hey guys, welcome back. First off, let me apologize for my video schedule being totally out of whack lately. I know I've not had uploads up on time. I have been so sick. I have seriously gotten sick three times in the last like six weeks. So every time I felt like I was getting a little bit better and I was set up to film, I just started feeling awful again. So I was like, oh, I just can't do this when I'm feeling awful. Cause you know, you can tell when someone just does not feel good. And I just did not want to put something out there that I was not proud of. So I waited and I'm finally feeling better. So I'm going to go ahead and get this video filmed. And anyway, if you cannot already tell by the title, this is an empties video. And if you are not familiar with empties video, basically, I'm gonna show you my trash but more specifically my beauty related trash and as you can see I have a lot here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and show you some of the things that I've used up recently and I'm gonna briefly let you know my thoughts on them as well as whether or not I will be repurchasing them so as you can see I do have quite a few here I actually had to upgrade to this basket for my Sephora bag because it was just overflowing in my bathroom so it was like this is not gonna happen so so let's get started because I do have quite a few items to go through today. I'm just going to start randomly. There's going to be no rhyme or reason what I'm grabbing. I'm just going to grab the first thing I see. And the first thing is this Yes 2 Cucumber uh, Makeup Remover Wipes. I absolutely love the Yes 2 brand. <coughs> I use them all the time. I really love the cucumber wipes. They're really just gentle and they feel like cooling and there's nothing better than just like after you take your makeup off just having like just like cooling effect on your face. And going along with the makeup wipe theme I actually have one of these ponds. These are the evening, what's it called? The evening soothe and they're um, with chamomile and white tea. I wasn't particularly crazy about these. What I do particularly like about the Pons brand is that the makeup wipes are like sort of like the quilted stitching, so they really seem to like grab onto your makeup as you're wiping it off better. But I did not feel like these were particularly like, um, I'm gonna say it moist. I didn't feel like there was a lot, of, a lot of moisture in it, you know? I just feel like I, I, there's nothing worse to me than having like a dry makeup wipe. And I feel like these were just dry. Um, I, I did like the scent and I did like the fact that they were stitched, but there just was not enough moisture in it for me. And I really like, you know, specifically when I'm just using it for a makeup wipe, I want the moisture, you know? So I probably will not be repurchasing these. And um, if I do get them free, I'll use them again, but I'm probably not gonna be repurchasing these. Next up, I actually have two of the, you guessed it, Moist. Uh, this is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle, and this is the Moist brand. I guys, I'm not making it up. I'm not just using an excuse to say it again. Moist. Um, this is the, um, just the, it's called a deep conditioner, but it's just a regular conditioner to me. But this is like one of my holy grail conditioners. I like to use this in between when I'm using a regular conditioner and when it's not time to use a deep conditioner yet. This stuff is amazing. I mean, it's cheap. It's drugstore cheap. You can pretty much find it anywhere. I actually get this from my dollar store. You also can get it at Target, at, I mean, at grocery stores. They sell this everywhere. And it is really, really a good conditioner. And I use this just when I can't decide what conditioner I want to use, if I'm not trying out anything new, if it's not time for me to use my Good Deep Conditioner yet, I'll just grab for this. And I find myself grabbing for this conditioner a lot more lately. And it's just, it really just never lets me down. And I really, 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 really like this conditioner. And I will definitely continue to repurchase it. Next up, I have this um, Philosophy Body Wash. This is the Vanilla Birthday Cake Scent. And I know it looks like, now it looks like there's stuff in there, but I swear it's empty. Anyway, I absolutely love Philosophy bath products. Probably some of my favorite body washes come from Philosophy. This one I really did like. I like the scent. It doesn't exactly smell like straight like straight up vanilla birthday cake, but it has a really nice scent. The one thing I do not like about the Philosophy um, body washes is that like the scent doesn't linger when you get out of the bath like it smells amazing when you're like using it then you get out of the, you get out of the shower and you know none of that scent is left behind that's the one thing i would change about philosophy but yeah i definitely will uh repurchase this in the future when i use up all the rest of the body washers that i do have in my shower but down the line i would absolutely repurchase this up next i actually have three different dry shampoos all by batiste two of the floral and flirty and one of the um what is this sassy and daring wild yeah absolutely as if you could not tell these are this is my holy grail dry shampoo i use dry shampoo like so much more than i used to i used to like only use it maybe like a couple times a week now i use dry shampoo every single day like except like the actual day that i wash my hair 
but I mean like this is just irreplaceable to me I mean I cannot live without my dress shampoo and I absolutely love the Patisse brand it's just the most I don't know it's just the most effective for my hair even though um they does give a little bit of a white cast I feel like that white cast really shows that it's working I don't know if that's weird to anybody else but yeah so but my favorite is the floor and flirty bush but I do also like the Sassany and Daring Wild I also really like the original scent as well but um if I had to choose between any of them it would definitely be this one so yeah and I absolutely will continue to repurchase this until the end of time I actually have a hairspray and I think it's the first time I've ever used up a hairspray in like forever and this is the L'Oreal Elnet. This is Elnet Satin. I got this literally probably about three years ago, which shows you how little I use up hairspray. This is like a giant bottle. This is 11 ounces. This is a lot of a lot of product for hairspray. And yeah, this is my favorite hairspray. It's got it um gives you the hold without having your hair be like sticky, but it doesn't give you like crazy hold like the big sexy hair hairspray does. But it also like lets you brush through, it lets you uh, use you know run your fingers through your hair. I'm using it today. I mean it holds my curl, but it's still it's brushable, and that's what I really like. I like the hair that you know stays in place, but it doesn't look like it's crunchy because nobody wants crunchy hair. So I absolutely will repurchase this again. Up, I have the holy girl of all holy girl. Deep conditioners, and I'm sure you guys know what this is. This is the uh, Macadamia Deep Conditioning Mask. Oh, it smells so good. This, I don't even know what else I could say about it that I haven't already said. It's just the most amazing deep conditioner. Um, the only thing I would change about it is the price, but considering how little I do use of it and how great the results are in my hair specifically, I will continue to repurchase this. I know there's a lot of dupes out there, but when it comes down to it, this is the shit. And this, I just really have not found anything that comes even close to this mask so I definitely definitely will be repurchasing this again. I have a Lush product, actually two Lush products, so I'm gonna start with the first one. This is the Rose Argon Body Conditioner and this is like one of my absolute favorite products ever. It is smells so good. And basically it's a body conditioner that you use in the shower after you've done everything. You just put it on your body. You should have lathered it on your body like you would a body butter. But you just rinse it off but you don't wash it off. So it really sort of absorbs into your skin as your skin is drying. Absolutely love it. It's one of my all time favorite products. But this is definitely one of the top. And then also, another Lush product is the Blousey Shampoo, and what I use this for is a clarifying shampoo. I use it before I do my Dacadamia um, deep conditioner. It really just gets up all the oils, the dirt, the build up, everything. It sort of primes my hair for the deep conditioner. It smells horrible. I'm not going to lie, but um, it really does the job. And so if you can just sort of, you know, kind of hold your breath through it, um, it really does do the job. And it really does do the job better than um, I found, like, some of the, like, the cheaper drugstore alternatives. So if you're looking for, you know, maybe a little bit more high-end um, clarifying shampoo, I would definitely go with this guy. I have a shampoo, and this is the Organics um, Macadamia Oil Shampoo. I really like this. I really like just Organics brand in general. It's very affordable and I feel like it's just, it really works. I mean, it pretty much works as well as some of the higher end brands that I've tried. I really like it. Um, they're sulfate free. They have really good natural ingredients. Specifically, I really like this one because I just like really like like sort of oil, oil based um, hair products. So yeah, I really like this. Um, this is probably one of my favorite from the Organics line. And I will be repurchasing this in the future. I have yet another Lush product. I didn't know this guy was in here. And this is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. But um, I just use this as a face scrub because it is a little bit pricey. As you can see, I use every last drop of that. So yeah, I basically just use this as a, um, a face exfoliant twice a week when I'm in the shower with my deep conditioner. So I can kind of keep track of it. And it is just my favorite, probably probably my favorite um, face exfoliant of all time. And I absolutely continue to repurchase this guy. Next up, I have the Sephora Triple Action Cleansing Water. And it's basically just like a makeup remover, but it's really really gentle, so it's really good for sensitive skin. And for um, my skin particularly, like I break out in hives like crazy, even with just like regular water sometimes. But yeah, I really like this product. It was really gentle. It was really easy to use. It didn't like get off like really well my eye makeup, but it was sort of like a preliminary getting off of my eye makeup remover. So um, I really did like this, and I will repurchase it because it is... Uh, a Sephora brand, but it is like the Sephora brand, so um, it is sort of on the, it's more on the affordable side than say some of the other brands that Sephora carries. So I probably will repurchase this guy again. A bunch of like little, little small Lush products that I've used in the bath. I'm gonna see if some of the labels are kind of over this. 
This is the um, Yuzu, I think it's the Yuzu Cocoa Bubble Rune. Basically it's just a bubble bar. I really like this one. I like the way it smells. I really love just Lush products in general, especially like the bubble products. I really like this and I definitely will purchase it again. I'm going to try to just get through a couple of these quickly. The next one I have the um, Cream Candy Bubble Bar. All these are from Lush by the way. I love this one. It smelled like straight up candy in your bathtub and it was amazing and I definitely will repurchase that. And the next one is the Mmm Bath Melt. It was basically pink marshmallow. It smelled amazing. It made your tub completely pink and who doesn't want like a pink marshmallow bath so it's really great and next up from Lush this was the oh, it, I totally ripped off like 90% of the label so I can't tell you which one this is but what this was was this the one that was completely orange with like an orange swirl and it made my tub straight up smell like orange soda it looked and smelled exactly like orange soda I was having a total kill moment when I was in the bath and this is amazing and I will try to find the name of it and link it below but yeah it's the one that has like it's it's a circle and it has orange swirls in it this guy's legit and the last thing I have from Lush I'm pretty sure yeah is um this is the fun bubble bar it comes it's like the little tube and I actually just use this for my son for his bubble bath because it has chamomile in it so it's good for um helping to calm down before sleep but he really likes it and it turns the entire tub blue and it makes bubbles so you clearly can't go wrong with this guy and I will repurchase that again oh no I have one more Lush product I lied anyway the last one I have is a butter ball this is just a bath bomb I really like this it had vanilla in it and it um had like softening ingredients so like made like my feet like the bottom of my feet like where my calluses are um really just soft and I really like this a lot and I definitely will repurchase this. Basically any Lush product that I've ever used I'll repurchase again just to save some time. I have a Maybelline Clean Express uh, makeup remover. This is the eye remover. This is the one that is like the gel form and not the one that's the water one, uh, water based one. But this is oil free. I really did like this. Um, I felt like it did the job. It really got it, really got <clears throat> It really did a good job of removing my mascara and my eyeshadow and it didn't irritate me at all and it was gentle and um, it's, you know, it's Maybelline so it's affordable so I probably will repurchase this in the future. Olay Total Effects 7 in 1 Anti-Aging Moisturizer. This is my favorite all-time moisturizer. I'm sorry, the cap. I don't know why it does that. The cap gets like gross. But anyway, I use this in the mornings only and surprisingly I go through it like crazy. But this is just my favorite moisturizer. It's gentle. It's effective. It has sunscreen. It has all of these great benefits for anti-aging and keeping your skin young and supple and where it's supposed to be. And I absolutely will continue to repurchase this pretty much the rest of my life. Okay, and then I have another philosophy product. This is the um, Hope in a Jar moisturizer. And I actually got this for Christmas and I used it up when one of my um, last Olay's moisturizers ran out. And I wanted to use it up and I was like, oh, do I really want to go to Target and get another Olay when I have like this big jar of moisturizer? Um, I actually really like this. The, the scent isn't like the greatest but I actually did really like this as a moisturizer and um, I probably would use it again um, I'm not sure if I would purchase it again because like I said I'm really like all about my Olay but um, if I ever got this again as a gift or like a sample I would absolutely use this again another guess to um, makeup remover wipes but this is the blueberry and this I uh, love these I use these every single morning they have they're supposed to have a brightening effect which I really like and they're also they're just like so cool and they just um I use them just in the morning when I want to wake myself up and it really helps to get like my night moisturizer off because I don't like to wash my face in the morning I don't know why I really like washing my face at night and anyway so it's just really cool and calming and it's supposed to have a brightening effect because um, it has um, lemon peel in it but it just feels amazing on your skin after you just woke it up and you're just so tired. And I absolutely love these and I will continue to repurchase these. I have a hair product. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite leave-in conditioners. Um, I really don't have a preference between like the one with keratin and without. I really dislike the It's a 10 brand. Um, yeah, so I absolutely, absolutely will repurchase this again. I have, uh, this is a product from Proactive. This is the, uh, if you do use the Proactive products, you know that there are different, like, steps that you're supposed to go through. This is number three. This is the repairing treatment. Basically, this is just the acne medicine that you put on after you wash your face and you put your toner before you put the moisturizer. Um, I love this stuff. I use this every time I get out of the shower. My face is just freshly clean. Um, or after I use a mask, because I feel like my, the mask really, you know, gets everything out of my skin, and this really just, like, goes right on top of it really just seeps into my skin so I really love this um yeah and I definitely will repurchase this um 
I used to have a subscription to the product and they would send me like every couple of months but I wasn't using it fast enough so now I'm just like trying to repurchase them um, separately but yeah I definitely will specifically repurchase this one okay I have a body butter and this is the Chocomania body butter from the body shop it smells really good. It doesn't smell like chocolate. It smells like kind of like, I don't know, like, you know, like when you go, when you get like Easter candy and you get like the off brand stuff that's sort of like just like the Walgreens brand or something like that. Kind of like that cheap chocolate. That's kind of what it smells like, not gonna lie. But I really did like this. I really do like the Body Shop's body butters in general. So if you can look, get past the scent not being exactly like you imagine chocolate to be, then you would like this. And this is just like the travel size one, which is just like the. 1.69 ounce so I went through this pretty quickly so I definitely like this and um, I would repurchase again from the body shop but not this particular scent but a hand lotion this is actually the hand food from soap and glory and it looks like it's full but I swear I promise that this is just the travel size that you get that you get like in the little bins at Sephora before you're going to check out so I got one of those and um, I really love this stuff um, it's probably one of my favorite hand lotions I've ever tried like ever and I absolutely will repurchase this guy in the future Okay, and last up are three lip products, um, coincidentally, which I swear I did not purposely put the last three products to be lip products. I think they're just the heaviest, so they sunk to the bottom. Anyway, uh, the first up is this EOS lip balm, and I think this is the one in the strawberry scent. Yeah, as you can see, it's all the way down, and I really like this one. I've really been getting back into EOS lip balms for some reason lately. Yeah, and I specifically really like this one and the pink one. I'm not sure what the flavor of that one is, but um, yeah, so I really like these guys, and I would definitely continue to purchase them because they're like $3 at Target, which isn't bad at all. Um, so yeah, I will repurchase this guy soon. Up is the Nivea Lip Butter, and this is just in the regular, um, classic scent. I don't think this is like the flavorless one. This is the, this is a Smooth Kiss. But yeah, I really, really like this. It's just very smooth, and it goes over your lips really well, and, um, it doesn't feel like greasy or anything like Vaseline would, but it definitely is moisturizing. It makes your lips feel like smooth, like you have butter on or something, in a good way. I know that doesn't sound tempting, but I promise it's in a good way. Anyway, yeah, so, um, I definitely will repurchase this guy in the future. And lastly, we have finally reached the bottom of my gigantic basket of empties. And this is the Jack Black Lip Balm. And this is just in the regular um, mint scent. Uh, mint scent? Mint flavor? Anyway, yeah, so um, I got this at Sephora. And um, it was really cheap. It was really affordable. So um, I really did like this. I felt like it gave just a little bit extra moisture as opposed to other lip balms that I've tried in the past. And so I probably will repurchase this. But I do have quite a few lip balms to go through. But um, this will definitely be on my short list of stuff to get in the future and that is it and thank you so much for watching and like I said I am very sorry for my schedule being crazy I'm feeling better now and hopefully I will stay that way at least for another couple of weeks but um I'm glad I got this video film but yeah thank you so much for watching and as always if you have anything you would like to tell me comment down below and um please subscribe like this video share it um and if you have any suggestions um please do not hesitate to let me know um constructive criticism i can take it believe me so just let me know what you guys think about this video and um, what you would like to see from me in the future and i will see you guys in the next video bye